Welcome back everybody. This is just a short addendum. Previously I posted the video on how to change the shift cable on the Honda HRX 217. I had lost some of the footage and I've decided to tear it apart again. Uh, the most crucial part of the footage that I lost was the actual connection of the cable. So, as we can see right here, your two cables are going to come down through here. On your transmission, there's a Phillips screw right here. This screw in this washer is what pinches the cable. If you follow it up, it's just a Z-bend. I'll disconnect it, I'll show it to you, and then I'll put it back together. Hold tight. Line up this hole right here. You can't see it. There you go. There's another Phillips screw down inside. Once you get that loosened and dropped out, your cable will now release. There's your Z-Bend. The second screw was holding this right here. I'm sorry, it was holding this bracket right here. So we put our cable in. We get this up underneath there. Then we line up our screw. One of the things that will help you get this aligned is to push this cable down and go ahead and start the screw with the washer first. Then we can get that second screw in from underneath and hold that cable in position. So we go in with a pair of needle nose pliers to help hold and twist the screw into place. There's the screw. tightened into place remember putting a steel screw into plastic now we loosen this up readjust our washer and then snug it back up and then we reassemble our transmission which has already been covered in another video okay so just to recap there's a Phillips screw inside there that holds the tab that's attached to the end of the cable and this Phillips screw right here holds the cable in. Takes a little bit of working to get that in there. You have to hold the screw with a pair of needle nose pliers, put it in sideways and work it around. Then while you're still holding it and you've got it in the slot, you have to look in from back here. Start your threads. After that, tighten that down. 
adjust your washer and everything. Tighten that up. Finish reassembling as we showed in the other video. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Until the next one, goodbye.